to Paw Prints on the Sand. My name is Jessica. This is Otis. He is my service dog in training. Um, so I've had a couple people ask me um, what clicker training is, how to get started with it, um, you know, the concept of it. Um, so I figured I'd kind of go through, um, you know, the basics and kind of a description of it. So it's basically a positive reinforcement training method. What that means is that we don't use um, punishment or anything like that. Um, so we click or mark, what do you do? Go, he's looking at his brother, his cat. Um, so we mark or click using um, this little clicker here, which he knows what it is. He knows we train with it and I always have it attached to a treat pouch. Um, we use a click to mark what behavior we want. Um, so any anything that we're gonna be training, whether it be a sit, a down, a stay, um, him, I don't know, four paws on the ground, going home, going to a mat, anything like that, um, I use the clicker. Um, I mark exactly what I see that I want. So as soon as his butt hits the ground to get him to learn how to sit, I click. So it kind of goes through this portion of the brain um, called the amygdala. Um, that's more of the scientific approach of it, which I won't be going through. Um, I might do that later. But um, anytime that the animal does something, an animal being horse, dog, cat, um, guinea pig, fish. Um, I know there's a study done where they clicker train bumblebees. Um, so clicker training can be used um, for any pet, really. Um, so when we're training, if they do something that we don't want, whether it be a poor behavior like jumping or whether it be something that they're um, kind of, they're not sure what you want, um, you know, if, if he lays down when I tell him to sit, um, well, I'm not going to click that. You, you just don't click what you don't want. So any behavior that he does, if he jumps, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to reprimand him. I'm not going to scold him. I'm not going to tell him no, none of that. I am simply just going to let him see that I'm not giving him a click and he will understand, oh, that's not what she wanted. Well, what does she want? And it gets them to use their brain. It gets them to use, um, you know, to start thinking. Um, it's, um, it, it promotes thinking and, and you know, it, it really keeps them with you. It keeps them working. It's, it really promotes a smarter pet. Um, a lot of people I know disagree, people being a lot of traditional trainers or um, those who use um, punishment-based methods, disagree with clicker training because they think that it basically is just the pet guessing. Um, what I can tell you is that, again, it's just the pet thinking. They get so excited that the clicker is out and that you might be learning a new thing. Well, they're going to go through all their clicker train behaviors quite often when they're first starting because they get so excited about it. But that's just them using their brain and, and thinking, okay, well, is this what you wanted me to do? Because that's what we did last time. And then they slow down and they think, no. Well, okay, she clicked that. Let's try that again. Awesome. She clicked that again. That means I'm doing it right. And that's how we slowly get them to learn um, what the clicker is, how it works. It, it's a communication that you can use with any species anywhere. Um, I'll go in through another video explaining um, shaping, which is another clicker training technique. Um, I can go through the scientific um, side of things. Oh, just leave it. Um, and I can also go through tag teaching, um, which is clicker training for humans. Um, they use in gymnastics quite often, but basically that is the concept of clicker training in under five minutes. I know it was kind of a lot of information. Um, I'll follow up um, just with a brief 30 second to one minute video of me teaching him something new. So he's never seen this before. For Christmas, um, I got Fit Paws. Um, it, I got it on KarenPriorAcademy.com um, or clickertraining.com. Um, this is a grippy side, so he he's never seen this before, which I'm going to put it away now so that he doesn't think we're working right now. What I will do is I will have him target it. Um, it will be a target for him, so as soon as he touches it or, or um, you know, with his paw, with his nose, what have you, I will click. 
and I will mark that because that's what I want for him to do. I want him to target it. So this first time I will be using it um, with his paws. So um, if you have any other questions about clicker training, um, I'm open, I'm free. You can go ahead and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So it's Otis in Training, and um, we'll get started.